next slide down we use a catalyst to get the ordered structure of uh, any polymer and that catalyst we call it as Ziegler Nutta catalyst. Okay. What is this Ziegler Nutta catalyst? First of all, the formula you should uh, remember. Okay. It is titanium chloride, the mixture of TiCl4 with trialkyl aluminium, AlR3. Trialkyl aluminium. R group is the alkyl group. Generally, we take ethyl, but it can be anything actually. Okay. So, if I draw a polymeric structure of uh, polypropylene, okay. So, propylene, the structure is this CH2 double bond, CH, CH3. This is propylene and the polymerization of this gives this structure CH2 C CH3 H CH2 C CH3 H and this side we have Okay, like this it goes. Do we have any chiral carbon in this molecule? This is polypropylene. Do we have any chiral carbon in this? Tell me. No. No. I think we have the first one. How many? At least in these, this is structure where two molecules have joined. How many chiral carbon we have? I think except for that middle CH2, the they're chiral. But then aren't the same groups repeated? So after in the left side, CH2 is attached structure? to water. After this CH2, again, we have CCH3H. See, this, C, this carbon then cannot won't be, it be Yeah, then won't it be same on both the sides? Yeah, this side also we have CH2 and then the same thing. I Means this is a repeating unit actually. This. This carbon is not a chiral carbon because it has two hydrogen on it. Okay. What about this carbon? We have one molecule, this hydrogen, one molecule is this and another molecule is this. Symmetrical arrangement we are not considering. Got it. We are considering what? We are considering if the number of carbon on this side and this side is different, then this carbon is the chiral carbon we have. Okay. Or for this molecule, you see when we have dimer this, then this carbon for at least this one is chiral carbon because this group is this and this we have this side. Similarly, this carbon is also a chiral carbon. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. Sir. So all the alternate carbon, which has four different group attached with it, are the chiral carbons. So now when it is chiral carbon, so this CS3 and H which is attached to this chiral carbon, their arrangement can be anything. Okay. So that arrangement we are trying to understand here. So what is the arrangement we have here? You see, one possible arrangement is this.
okay one possibility is what all cs3 present on the same side like this and one arrangement is what one cs3 coming out of the plane other one is going into the plane then out of the plane into the plane alternate and here we do not have any fixed arrangement it is randomly arranged like this okay there is no fixed arrangement here okay because we do not have any control in such reaction like i discussed about this the radical mechanism we have we do not have control on these reactions so we can get any one of these possibilities okay whether the one possible arrangement is what all cs3 on the same side then alternate and then random arrangement overall point i am trying to make is what that the possibility is to get either ordered arrangement or disordered arrangement both possibility are there okay so when all the cs3 group present on the same side okay this arrangement we call it as isotactic arrangement isotactic arrangement when all cs3 on the same side when it is alternate like this it is syndiotactic syndiotactic and when there is no uh, arrangement random arrangement if it is there it is random arrangement so this random arrangement we call it as a tactic a tactic so this two are actually regular arrangement right whether it is iso or syndiotactic the arrangement there is a pattern regular arrangement we have okay so this regular arrangement arrangement they have good physical properties because ordered arrangement we have so their physical property is better good and useful also since the physical property is good high density we have so it this one is useful also both isotactic and syndiotactic both are useful they have good physical properties because they have ordered arrangement arrangement will have a fixed pattern here this one also and this one also but random arrangement their physical property is not good not good physical properties that's why we'll try to avoid and this is not useful also since the physical property is not good that's why we try to avoid this particular arrangement a tactic arrangement okay and to avoid this arrangement we use a catalyst and that catalyst we call it as ziegler natta catalyst got it so this point you write down the structure of the structure of polymers depends upon the type of mechanism the structure of the polymer depends upon the type of mechanism next line in free radical mechanism in free radical mechanism there is no control over the reaction and the possibility to get
and the possibility to get the random arrangement of molecules is high the possibility to get random arrangement irregular arrangement of molecule is high this structure is known as atactic structure this structure is known as atactic structure and their physical property is not good and hence they are not useful okay this structure is known as atactic structure their physical property is not good hence they are not useful next line to get regular arrangement to get regular arrangement we use a catalyst called jigler natta catalyst to get regular arrangement we use a catalyst called jigler natta catalyst done can we move on yeah yes okay. the last thing here we have to discuss in this chapter is write down resins what are resins hmm anything you know about resins what are resins some plant product plant product you must have seen on the tree there is some yellowish orange color semi liquid substance is there right some tree i have seen it i don't know whether you have seen it or not so it is semi uh, solid it's not completely liquid not completely solid you can uh, you know Uh, uh, change the shape also easily by applying some pressure on it. And that's not a big deal. Okay, so that yellowish or orange colored liquid that you have obtained from the tree, those things we call it as resins. Okay, the examples of resins are the first example is bakelite. Okay, bakelite is an example of resins. you see this it is actually the product of or the monomer of bakelite is phenol and formaldehyde formaldehyde and hence the we also call it as phenol formaldehyde polymer okay or phenol formaldehyde resins bakelite is nothing but phenol formaldehyde resins okay so this reaction actually reaction between phenol and formaldehyde it takes place at uh, in both acidic and basic medium mechanism like i said it is not required i'll just discuss little bit here h plus oh minus and it forms ortho para substituted product which is oh and here we have ch2oh ortho substituted product and para substituted product is this oh and ch2oh now the reaction takes place at both uh, position ortho and para these two reacts oh ch2oh reacts with
reacts with CH2OH. OH. So this actually, and in acidic medium, this goes out as H2O. It combines and gives this product. OH ring. Here we have CH2. OH, CH2, this also goes this way. Like this, we'll get a long chain compound. This kind of reaction is possible at this position also. So overall, you'll get this product. It's a very complex reaction. I'm not writing down the entire reaction here. You get something like this. OH, we'll have here and uh, we get CH2, this also attached with CH2. OH and this CH2 attached with this. There's an open bond here. CH2 this side. This is structure, the entire complex is structure is nothing but Bakelite. Structure is not at all important. This is used for the production of pressure cooker handle. And it is a cross-linked thermosetting polymer. Right? It is a cross linked thermosetting polymers. Thermosetting polymers means what? When we heat this, cross linking takes place, which does not break down on cooling. That's why it does not become soft again. The other examples of resins are. Phenol formaldehyde we have seen already. The other one is melamine formaldehyde polymer. Just name you write down. Melamine formaldehyde, I'll write down the name. Other examples of uh, resins are melamine plus formaldehyde. And one more we have urea plus formaldehyde. All these are examples of resins. Melamine structure, you must remember. This has been asked in JE exam. The structure based question of melamine. Here we have NH2, NH2, here we have NH2, and double bond like this. This is the structure of melamine. Question that they ask how many lone pairs are present in melamine? Can you tell me the number of lone pair in melamine? Number of lone pairs in melamine? Is it six? Yes. Six. Six lone pairs. One lone pair on each nitrogen atom. The exact question they have asked in J exam. But they haven't given the structure of melamine. The name they have written. The question is count the number of lone pair present in melamine. Okay, so structure you must know because when the structure is given, there's nothing to do in this. Okay, so this is it for polymers. Okay, polymers is done. Okay, this is it for polymers. Okay.